Hey guys, Flash of Baron here, and I get asked a lot, what is the best way to fame daggers? And I don't think there really is a best way, but I just want to show you guys three methods that I use to fame my daggers. So the first method is solo dungeons. Uh, the build I like to use is a blood letter with a specter jacket and the assassin hood. So what you do is you pop your guardian boots and your specter jacket and you just melt anything around and when they get low enough you use your E to re-get your cooldowns quickly and then you can use your assassin's hood to get your cooldowns the rest of the way. I like using cabbage soup for my food but I also equip omelets just in case I get dove on then I can eat the omelet and have a cooldown reduction and either try to fight it or try to escape. One thing to note is that I take a one-handed dagger and a hunter jacket for the bosses. It's actually kind of difficult at times to kill a boss one-on-one -on -one with the specter jacket blood letter because your blood letter really isn't doing a lot. But the one-handed dagger with the hunter jacket combo can really dish out a lot of damage to a single target. All in all, doing solo dungeons is only the way you should start. I think these next two methods are for more intermediate and advanced people trying to get their spec to the next level and also trying to train their PvP skills. Solo Dungeons doesn't really help with your PvP skills much. I mean, you might get dove, but it isn't very likely. So it's a low risk, low reward method. The next method to faming up your daggers is being a Hellgate rat. And I know what you guys are thinking, that being a rat is just the worst thing you can do and it's so despicable. But hear me out. This is the build I use to rat. It's not the typical knight armor, guardian helmet, live forever build. This build is meant to fight, but it's also meant to get away in situations that I can't win. So I like using the Merc Jacket Hunter Hood combo. That way I could heal myself back up while dishing out damage, waiting for that opportunity to arise for me to use my E. I also like using leather shoes with the refreshing sprint. That way I can get all my cooldowns back much faster. And I prefer Eel Stew, but it is a little bit pricey. So if you want to just switch that out for omelets, that is fine too. All in all, Hellgate Ratting is a medium risk, medium reward method. You can use like Hellion Hood and all that stuff to try to steal loot to get a higher risk, higher reward. But I prefer, you know, trying to actually fight people, practicing your PvP a little bit. But this next method, this is the best for fighting and for getting rewards. Oh yeah, and this happened. It's like the Albion Gods punished me for ratting. So the final method is my favorite method by far. All you gotta do is get a 4.1 set, about 200k, go into a Hellgate and fight people. This will make you a lot better at PvP in general. It will also give you a decent amount of fame. You can make, if you get all three bosses, so bosses are 20k fame each, the chest in the middle is 61k fame. So if you get all three bosses and the chest, you're looking at 120k fame, plus any tomes of insight you get inside the chest, you can either sell or use that. So you can have almost 200k fame and one Hellgate. This is of course not typical, but what is typical is finding a fight. And these fights are awesome. You can have some really intense fights and you can get some really high rewards because a lot of people like bringing in crazy gear into Hellgates. You really don't need to bring in that crazy of gear. The Hellgate caps at a thousand. It's a soft cap, so anything above that is halved. So if you're at 1200, you'll be at 1100 approximately. So bringing in 4.1, especially Death Givers, since they are a artifact item. They, they really aren't capped that all that much. And once you've used these methods to train up your spec, you, you'll be doing just fine. And you'll be able to 2v1. And when you get out to the, to the open world, you'll, it'll make outnumbered fights a lot easier. You'll learn your timing better. You'll 
have more money to spend because you'll be winning in here, getting rewards. So that even if you do die, you lose 200k, it's not even that big of a deal. Thanks guys for watching, and if you like this type of video, let me know so I can make more. I really like making little mini guides like this, so your support is always appreciated.